for a walk. Uh, I've decided to take the dog out, uh, get a little bit of exercise because lately I have not had a great deal of exercise and I'm actually puffed out. <laughs> and I've only just walked about 500 yards, which is crazy really. When you think, I used to walk seven, between seven and 11 miles every, every day I worked. Um, and uh, for about four hours, uh, about five days a week. There she is, old oh, floppy ears. You wouldn't believe she was a German Shepherd. Cross Rottweiler, would you? Ah, oh, just sit and. Well, I'm not sat, stood. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go for a walk. Are you knackered yet? Huh? I'm absolutely. I'm absolutely knackered. <laughs> right, okay. So I am just going to do this as a sample, okay? Now, I've just cut a piece of stabiliser. I have cut a piece of um, jersey net, okay, which is the same sort of stuff as T-shirts. So I'm going to use my um, 360 by 200 hoop, all right, which is here. This is a screw-in hoop, all right. A screwed hoop, all right. So let's just get this sorted in a minute. Now, this is a cutaway stabiliser, all right. And organized. Yeah. Okay, right, I've hooped up some fabric, all right. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, okay. Now this design is um ideal for blankets, um, but if you have got um a smaller machine, uh it comes in three different sections, so you can do one section at a time, all right. It allows you to do that. Now I'm going to pop this back on the machine. Um, that's the beauty of this design. It will allow you to do it section by section. So, right, that's that's okay. I don't know how well this is going to, you know, stabilise the design. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to make sure that it's not going to hit any of the sides. It's quite a large design. It's right at the limit, so it fits though. Okay, right. So everything's ready, all my machines ready to do all this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some fabric and I'm gonna heat and bond it. All right. Now then, as you can see, I've got these blankets here. I have, I do sell um, different types of uh, furry fabric in my Etsy shop. The link's down below for that. But these here are blankets that I purchased from the likes of Asda, um, B&M, this is over here in the UK. All right, so you can pick up these blankets and you get a fair whack of material for the price. Um, so it might always be better for you to do that. Now then, I'm going to go and get my rotary cutter a minute. And cut some fabric and to heat and bond it. Now, I want a piece of each. That's what I'm aiming to do. Three different colored bunnies, okay? This stuff does get very messy so best to try to put it all in back together like without it all going everywhere right okay make sure i've got enough because it's quite a large design Now, if you go down in the description for this video, you will find the link to this design, okay? If you don't find the link to the actual design, the link for the shop will be there. And I highly recommend go to the shop and just purchase it. Usually everything's on sale, all right? And I mean sale. And they are such lovely designs. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with them. And 
they're so easy to download all right just um pop a load of it pop, pop a load in your basket while they're on sale and purchase them i would um because you've got them then you've got them forever and you haven't got to go back when they're not on sale although most of her stuff is on sale all the time okay. right, that one. I don't like wasting too much I tend to I tend to waste stuff I've got my paper scissors here which I'm putting heat and bond all right this is heat and bond light okay I just as well heat and bond a lot of that because I've got that piece there as well. Um, let's get another piece. Okay. Right. Shouldn't do this. Not with my rotary cutters. Okay, now this is all ready to um, heat and bond, okay? Um, I want to make sure I've got the right sides down. There we go. Okay, is that, is that the right side? No. And that's the right side. I can always tell with these blankets which is the right side and which is the wrong side. Okay. Now then, let's do one of these at a time. One day. One day I will sort my heat press out. It's a bit of a pain at the minute. Right, let's try and pop you up a bit so you can see a little bit more. Okay. So this is all I need. Three pieces of fabric. And you can choose whatever colours you like. This, I, I think this design would be very great. Very good for um, blankets. Now, just let that all cool off a bit. Pop this one in. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Let's try and get the flat side up so it doesn't get caught. <laughs> I must get it sorted. Ideally, I wouldn't mind one of those um, style heat presses, but uh, that may be for the future. We'll see. One. One more. This makes a hell of a mess of your heat press. So lint brushes would be ideal to get that off. Right. <coughs> That's not done. Hopefully now all's done. Let's have a look at this. There we go. One. Okay, another one. Another one done. And just turn that off a minute. And another one done. Right, okay, that's all done. Right, back over to the machine. Let's see where we're at. Um, I'm going to use some water soluble on this okay so i'm going to bring my thing forward a minute okay so you can see what i'm doing i'm going to pop that on there there's a bit too much fabric here but never mind be fine okay let's the piles go in that way it doesn't matter which way it goes actually let's go this way okay <laughs> right let's make sure it covers your design um now i think what i'm gonna do is it's not gonna stop at this next bit is it no we'll just get some water soluble we'll get the water soluble out now and cut a piece well, i've popped some water soluble down i haven't tacked it or anything okay so we just have to see what happens hopefully hopefully it will be fine so let's let's go Okay.
this will help me then um, cut out the design doesn't matter about any creases or anything like that out now all right okay as you can see i've got the water soluble on top what i'm going to do first of all is cut that big piece of fabric off so i'm not having to cut too much trying not to get too much lint everywhere gently as we go all right okay now then Let's do this bit here. Rather than tear this off at the minute, I'm going to just cut around it, okay? Makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. Try lifting the fabric slightly, okay, so that you pull it away from the actual t-shirt or whatever it is you are. Not too, don't pull too hard, but just lift it slightly so that it helps to keep away from the um, main fabric that you're going to be embroidering to, okay. Right, I'm going to pop that back on the machine now, okay.
trusty scissors. If you take your time, then you're less likely to make any mistakes. Just little snips at a time, all right? Don't rush it because if you rush, you're going to make a mistake and then you're just going to be annoyed with yourself because you're going to feel like you can't do it and you can do it, okay? Honestly, it's very easy if you just give yourself the chance to... Um, just give yourself the chance and just go slowly. Get the right equipment, okay? And I recommend these scissors, okay? I do recommend them because they're tiny. They've got a, they've got a little curve on them, okay? There's a link in my, um, in my descriptions down below. Some of the Amazon links there. You can find. You should be able to find these scissors on there, okay? Um, but they are very handy for appliques. Please don't try and do it with standard scissors because you'll only upset yourself because you it won't it just won't be very neat. Okay, so right, just go around here. Even I rush sometimes, and it's and I it's so annoying. I I'm silly because. Otherwise, you know, when you rush, it's just, there we go. There, all right, so there we go. So I'm gonna pop that now back on the machine. This is the very last bit now. One little bit to go. And we are finished. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Now we're going to take all that, this off, and see what it looks like. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Now, then. Here we have our design. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before I take all this stuff off, the fluffy off, I'm going to tape this uh, with a little bit of sticky tape to get rid of all the um, bits. You can use a lint roller. I have been known to use this stuff here. Um, let me 
it's entirely up to you. This here is just um, masking tape. Make sure I get all those awful bits off. A bit more. Some on the side here as well. I don't like shaking it about because it floats around in the air and then there's tiny little fibres float around and we don't want to be breathing them in. Now, I did make a little bit of a boo-boo. I'm going to show you in a minute. Okay, right. Are we ready for this? Let's have a close up. Okay. So I just want to take this water soluble off. Okay, you just pierce it or pull it, pull it away. Oh, I always like this bit. I love doing this bit because it just shows all that lovely, lovely fluff. Look at that. It looks almost 3D. I'm a bit upset about that little bit of a nick that I did there. I'll show you in a minute. Take this one off and that one. Oh wow, it looks so lovely. Oh, I just love these designs. This woman makes such lovely designs, you know, and they are so cheap. Um, like I said, make sure you go when she's got sales on and she always has the sales on. If they're not on when you go, wait, because they will be back within days, okay? If hours. If not ours, there we go. Oh, look at that. I love it. I'm a little bit upset about that though. There's a little bit of a, if I push that in, because I want to take a nice photo of this. I'm going to hide it and I'll show you guys. All right, let's have a look now. Look at that from there. Doesn't that look really pretty? That would make an ideal blanket. Look at that. Oh, hang on. I haven't taken it off the feet. Oh, I do. I needed to take it off the feet first before I wanted to show you. Okay. Oh, that is just so lovely. I love it. Now, this is just done on a piece of jersey fabric, okay? Which is your average t-shirt fabric. So you could, Martin, you could actually shrink this design down a little. If you wanted all three rabbits, you could shrink it down a little and fit it into a um, hoop large enough for a shirt for a child. Um, but always do a stitch out first before you ruin a shirt, just in case the stitches aren't quite, you know, sometimes it depends on what program you use to shrink it. But other than that, you can use each individual rabbit, okay? You don't have to have all three. Um, and they all slightly differ, okay? This one is bigger than the other two. Um, but like I said, you can still shrink it or make it larger and use it on its own. And you'll get so much of the grass with with one and with another and so on. So you could actually just put the one on, all right? Now, this would be ideal for blankets and stuff like that. But that looks absolutely lovely. I really, really like that design. And I love I love the way she does her stitching. And look at this here. Isn't that pretty? Um, it's so lovely. And you can get your edges just like this. If you just take your time, use a pair of these Fiskars. Okay, they're called Fiskars Curved Scissors. All right. Um, there is a link in my description down below because you can get into every and you just all you need to do is use the very tip to cut don't be cutting down in the at here just use the tip and then you'll get a s small snips as you go around and you can be careful not to cut um you know too far out or too far in but like i've done i you can't see it because i've hidden it but in here i don't want to keep press pulling it up because i want to take a picture but i cut into my fabric you can just about see it there you go look so I did make a mistake there and that was because that was when I first started this doing this design and I think I rushed. So that was a mistake that I could have been avoided. All right. But look at that. Just look at it. Oh, it's just so lovely. Um, oh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Her designs 
uh, you can't go wrong with them, honestly. Um, they're so pretty. And for the price, you know, if you decide, decide once you stitch it out, you're not that keen on whatever, you've not wasted pounds and pounds because they're quite inexpensive. Look. There we go. Look at that look. And it even, it's raised up because of the fur. And you can have the fur go in different directions, look. And so on and so on. Look at that look. Oh, oh it's lovely. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, I know I definitely enjoyed making that design. But look. Oh, look at that. Isn't that really, really cute? I love it. That is going to look ideal on a blanket. And if you, like I say, if you make it smaller or just use one of the rabbits, you could put it on a t-shirt. Um, you don't have to use fluffy fabric. You could uh, actually, instead of doing it as an applique, what you could do is just sew this design or embroider this design onto, straight onto furry fabric for a blanket. So don't bother with any, you know, of the applique part of it. Just do the whole, when I, when I say don't do the applique part, what I mean is don't lay fabric on top of your fluffy fabric. Just let it do its stitches as, as this, but without putting extra fabric in. And I think that obviously would outline all the rabbits for you. And then um, it will be, you know, stitched into the blanket. Um, yeah, I think that will, that is... A, that's a possibility. I think that's a good way of doing it straight off without having any stops. Just let it do its run its course. Um, and then, you know, easy. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free if to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, we'll be doing a lot more things like we, you know me and my fluffy, my fluffy appliques. Um, I have just had a delivery, so I am going to go and get it and bring it up here. Now, I might, in a minute, go live. If I do go live, then you will know that I've gone live. So, uh, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, this is just done on a piece of jersey fabric. And, oh, look at it. It's lovely. Look, 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 look. Look at that stitching. Oh, I love it. I just love it. I really like this. I love it. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to go and decide what I'm going to make next. See you soon. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye.